with another banger for you guys today. And as you can see by the title, we have a brand new SML movie. And this ain't no regular SML movie, okay? This is Final Destination. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Okay, okay, look, look, look. All right, all right, all right. So, look, Final Destination is a classic from my childhood, okay? This, this, this movie came out... Um, I was, I don't even remember how old I was. I just know I was young as hell. That's how I know I'm getting older. You feel me? I'm 30 at this point, y'all. I was a preteen or a teenager or something like that. I, I can't remember the exact dates. But look, look, man, <laughs> before we also get into this, y'all, literally right now, my forehead is glistening, okay? Like, like I know my twin, I know my twin Nate told y'all, uh, like the AC, the AC motherboard or whatever unit in the house or whatever, the motherboard went out, so they gotta come repair it. We've been in the house without AC for about two, three days now, and uh, it's about 85 in this motherfucker. So your boy is hot, but I still wanted to react to this because I won't be home the rest of the day. We got, we got like, you know, we got some stuff that we doing later. So you guys are gonna be getting more content here soon. Uh, so. Yeah, we're gonna dive into the final destination. You guys know what final destination is. A lot of chaos, a lot of crazy shit. But this is an SML version, so I'm excited to see this. Before we dive into this video, my gaming channel link will be in the description down below. If you guys would like to follow that, I will greatly appreciate the support. And make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on so you do not miss any of the uploads, man. Who getting taken out first in final destination? I, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. All right, all our bags are packed. Watch it be Marvin. Oh, I'm so excited to go to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> if we're going to Missouri, why are you dressed like you're going, going to, to Missouri beach? for the end of your life is crazy. No that's the last place Louis. you're going as, on the trip. Prepare to be wrong. Check this out. What's that right next to the arch? That's right, it's a beach. Can you imagine <laughs> floating in a pool floaty and looking up at the arch? I think that's heaven, Marvin. Well, that looks like a river. Brooklyn yeah, guy. Mississippi. <laughs> I can't wait to go snorkeling and eat Mexican food. Oh, Marvin. And they have the best Mexican, Mexican food. food I, I really swear, good. it's like they hop the border and come straight to St. Louis. So you've been to St. Louis before? Yeah, we go every summer. Well, he <laughs> says it's the cheapest beach you can go to. Yeah, it's amazing, Marvin. See, the pictures, That's such a Brooklyn guy thing there. to it's say. Like having your own private beach just for you and also that barge. Okay. The only reason it's like that is clearly because nobody is going to go to St. Louis for the beach. Like, that's not what you go there for. That's not the kind of vibes. Hey, I think why don't we go somewhere go more to, tropical, like Oklahoma? I don't even know, because I ain't well, never been there. Everybody's going to be heard swimming in the beaches of Oklahoma this time of year. You know where they're not going to be? St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> okay, well, let's not miss our flight. Grab your bags. Yeah, we got to hurry up. We have a Southwest flight, and it's like riding a bus. There's no assigned seating. It's just first come, first serve. So we might not actually even be sitting together. I <laughs> to be honest. I'm seated next to a crying baby. I'm going to punch it in the face. Well, if you punch, it's going to Damn. Come not if I punch it hard. Brooklyn guy has no filter. But look, Just guys, to be honest, I think go. I would rather be on the on the school bus than an airplane for some kind of. How lucky of us! Oh, they're getting to sit together and. Oh, Marvin and them got on a flight. Brooklyn guy's taking the bus. I'm taking the bus with Brooklyn guy. I'm just saying. What happened three times? Almost four. Jeffy, that was a long time ago. Yeah, Jeffy, it's not gonna happen. So shut up. Rose seat finna get ejected. I can just feel it. This shit about to get crazy. And he's about to crash the plane on purpose to get back at life. Oh, you come, come down, come down. Not Jeffy's the one that's seen everything before it happens, okay? So that's why he's predicting this right now. This is crazy. The pilot. Every, every day, I think. Ugh, I hate sitting in the middle seat. And I'm sitting next to a baby. <laughs> Brick the guy better not punch this baby, bro. What the fuck? You named your baby Fungus? Well, would you like to sit next to Fungus? No, she likes the window seat. Okay, well, do you want to switch seats with me? <laughs> this like episode might get you crazy. I can already no, tell, like bro. The aisle seat. Oh, yeah, that makes fucking sense. Mama! Mama, 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 mama. I, I think mama, it wants your attention. Mama. That's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's worse. Mama or Daryl, Daryl, or no, no, I said Daryl. <laughs> I'm dyslexic as hell, y'all, if you can tell. Or uh, bear, bear, bear. You hey, know she's self-soothing. <laughs> She'll calm down in what's worse? to an hour. <laughs> oh, that is fucking perfect. <laughs> Hey, you think you could cry louder? I don't think my eardrums have ruptured yet. <laughs> Brooke, the guy's fighting his Wah! inner Wah! demon trying not to Wah! punch this baby. Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? Yeah, I'd like a bomb so I can blow this plane up. Sir, you can't say bomb on an airplane. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, can I at least get some earplugs? Yeah, if you, say, if you say bomb on an airplane, bro, they are going to, like, the feds are on your ass in that kind of a situation if you do that. Like, I just gave crazy. away my last pair. Oh, were well, those people also sitting next to a screaming baby? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sure they needed it way more than I do. Oh, one more thing. Um, Hypothetically, if I were to punch this baby, would I still be able to go to St. Louis? No. Oh, no, okay. you'd be in prison. 
<laughs> I really want to see that arch. Okay, that's it. Oh shit, child abuse, Brooklyn guy, bro. Oh no, we don't condone this at all, y'all. I've never seen a grown man beat a baby like that, bro. That is absolutely insane. And one thing I was just thinking of, y'all, because I've been on a lot of flights before. So, but on a flight, I've never actually seen like security or police like actually on the plane with us. So, my thing is, I guarantee you, on each flight, they probably have undercover undercover police or somebody or one of the flight attendants low-key has a strap up on them or some shit because you just never know in this situation i know they check bags and everything at the airport but i'm just saying imagine you being on an airplane and somebody really saying some shit like that they're gonna pull that pistol out and check your ass real quick on the spot hey what? go back to your seat um <laughs> i just punched a baby over there and now the flight attendant is saying i have to switch seats would any of y'all mind that's switching it seats with him uh rose you want to switch seats with him sure i'll sit by a baby Wait, really? I get a window seat? I gotta start punching babies more often. Oh, Marvin, this is the perfect way to start a vacation in the South <laughs> How the fuck did you get away with this crime? Because the police officer face ass. Hey, Marvin, what do you think the odds are that the flight attendant will suck me off in the bathroom? What? No, nah, nah, that's crazy, that's crazy. That wouldn't happen, it's crazy. But maybe, right? No, 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 I, I wouldn't let it get that far. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. <laughs> this I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you <laughs> oh, shit. Imagine this the way you go out, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Marvin, it sounds like the captain's having a rough day, but don't worry, he'll cheer right up. His wife got BBC by three niggas, bro. Hunter. That's crazy. <laughs> the turbulence, I swear, the takeoff and the both the landing is both the scary part for me. The landing is OD. Oh, yeah, it, it was a dream. It was a dream. Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? You already asked us that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Wait, 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 wait that, means, that means this plane's gonna crash. I need to get off this plane. Wait, 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 come on. Uh, Ma Marvin, Marvin, Rose, Jeffy, Marvin, Marvin, Jeffy, Rose. I just had a vision that this plane is gonna crash. Well, it's gonna crash? Yeah, I had a That's So Raven moment. We need to get off this plane. <laughs> Literally, okay, That's So Raven. Oh, yeah. uh, Karen, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, look at that. I left my bag. <laughs> See, isn't it good that we got off that plane? Why'd you he make said, Karen, we're leaving. Flight? Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Because you had yeah, a bad feeling. What's going on, Boiny? Well, I had a vision that the plane was going to crash. You daydreamed the plane crashing until you made us all miss our vacation? No, it wasn't a daydream. It was really realistic. Like, I punched this baby in the face, and then I came and sat with Marvin, and then the pilot said he was sad, and then he crashed the plane. <laughs> Speaking about Marvin in third person, that's crazy. Dream. No, trust me. I could not have fallen asleep with that baby screaming at me. Boiny, you ruined our summer vacation. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are gonna thank you. You guys aren't missing out much. It's St. Louis. Plane's gonna crash. Planes don't crash. Sorry to everybody that is from St. Louis, by the way. Okay, I love y'all. Actually, more planes are very safe. Look, the news. <laughs> the news. Okay, a plane during takeoff <laughs> drove off the runway and crashed into a building, killing all 180 passengers on board. Oh my God! <laughs> How horrible! Those poor and this was the flight y'all was yes. on. Flight 82. Yes, I was right. Yes, face, face, face. Oh, yeah, you guys didn't believe me, but then I whipped out the dick of truth, and I was like, oh, all over you guys. Oh, yeah, I was like, the plane's gonna crash, no, and, like, no. and then you know what happened? It blew up, it crashed, and yes, I know I'm being a little insensitive because 180 people died, but I know right. people who didn't. I was right, thinking Marvin? that. Right, we are alive, yes, because of me, because of how right I was. I'm totally gonna use this at parties. I'm gonna be Brooklyn like, the guy having this power crashed. is I not was good. On it until I got off, because I had a bad feeling, I like making stuff about me. You know, like whenever I see a car accident on the news and I'm like, I drive on that street all the time. That totally could have been me, but it wasn't. But I'm still going to make a Facebook post about how it could have been. Yummy the lights. Oh, God, I love being right so much. OK, Karen, come on. <laughs> yeah, Let's go home different. and you make me dinner to celebrate how right I am. I cannot believe we just escaped death. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> well, right, hey, hey, hey low key, no taquitos. Hey, and we said it at the same okay, time, Jinx. Kitos. Yeah, I know you do, fire. Boiny. Oh, Boiny, who's dollar and one penny? Some sour is cream, on the some counter? Tabasco. Mine, Karen, don't touch it. Okay, some well, I'm just gonna move it out of the oh, 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 no, Boiny, Boiny, <laughs> I dropped your penny down the garbage disposal. Well, you better get it, goddammit. That's a 1997 
Listen, Penny, I like that you. Oh, Rest in peace, Karen. Oh, 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 it's about to get oh, ugly. It's so deep. Oh, it's so deep. Oh, that bitch deep. deserved to turn on at this point. Oh, that's so hot. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> She better do some stupid shit. Yeah, I'm sleeping up in there. <laughs> I know some stupid shit was about to happen, y'all. She slipped on the banana peel and fell in the stove and is now getting cooked. <laughs> this is some Final Destination shit, bro. It'd be the most, like, unrealistic, like, shit. Damn, Karen, what's all that screaming about? If you burn the taquitos, we can always just get Uber Eats. Karen? Oh, oh, God, you definitely burned the taquitos. It smells like a burning body. Well, Karen, I'm gonna go over to Marvin's house. Definitely not a strip club. It's definitely gonna be Marvin's house. Uh, no strip clubs for me. Just Marvin. Okay. Marvin, it's just so and sad. He just Listen, left her there to cook. Today. She gonna we be. Could have died. She gonna be know, roasted by the time he get back. Plane, so just be grateful we're alive. Oh, Who's okay. next, Rose? Oh, God, I'm jumping. Jeffy, no jumping on the trampoline. In the <laughs> not Jeffy for the oh, go trip, crazy off the trampoline. No, I, this is about to be hectic. Seriously, Jeffy, people lost their lives. There's no <laughs> mood to jump on a trampoline right now. <laughs> We're jumping on your trampoline. Makes me feel better. <laughs> Dang, how high do you think I can jump? I know some crazy shit jump, was going to happen. Jump, 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 and Ross is so blind. No. Like it's not happening right in front of her. I'm gonna go take a bath. Well, a bath? Yes, I'm gonna take <laughs> a bath. She's about to get electrocuted. I'm sad. But you don't take a bath and you see someone die? Marvin, it's my sad bath time. <laughs> I don't know what what the hell? Like, Jeffy laying there dead on, on the floor. Y'all worried about, dead about dead baths dead and dead shit? Dead completely off. What do I do? I'm surprised Marvin is more concerned than Rose right now. She's being such a blind right now. That's crazy. Yup. Predicted it, <laughs> and this actually happened in one of the movies. Oh, so, bath is making me feel so much but it was better. a blow dryer, I think, oh, or something. I don't TikTok remember exactly. On my phone. <laughs> the fact that they threw the phone in the water too is crazy. <laughs> hey, buddy, I think my wife burned dinner. You want to come to the strip club with me? I just saw my son get decapitated by a ceiling fan. <laughs> well, that's why we don't put. And the police still aren't there, but technically fans. they are because Brooklyn guy is a what police officer. You don't care that my son is dead. Well, listen, you're not the only one dealing with the dead body, okay? I'm pretty sure my wife fell into an oven and got cooked to death. You saw that happen to her? Well, I didn't see it, but I heard it. I didn't want to see it because I didn't want to be traumatized. But I'm also kind of freaking out because I saw this movie guy called is Final different. Destination where some people avoid dying in a plane crash and then they start dying in freak accidents. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us because my wife is dead, <laughs> your son is dead, and I don't see your wife, so I'm assuming she's dead too. My wife might be dead? Yeah, probably. So I figure if we're going to die anyway, we might as well die at the strip club, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen there? A stripper's ass is too fat and it engulfs my head and I suffocate? <laughs> I'm sucking on titties and they're too fat and I suffocate? That sounds like a pretty good death I mean, to me, I, I mean, yeah. I want to be opposed to that. <laughs> you feel me? But that's just me, guys. That's the Anyways. best place to die is a strip club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, how are we going to get there? Well, we can take my car. No, no, no cars. There's a car accident in Final Destination. Walk down the street, man. A log goes through a windshield. No, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I do um, remember that shit. That's crazy. Bike. No, because then if the chain breaks, it might slit our throat and I don't want to do that either. Why don't we just walk? <laughs> No, no, because we could get hit by a car or lightning or another plane. No, it's no good. We can just call an Uber, right? Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I don't think death would kill an innocent Uber driver just to get to us. Good idea. Okay, let me call the Uber. Let me get my bowling ball. Wait, why are you bringing a bowling ball to a strip club? Because there's a bowling alley at the strip club, Marvin. It's called Tens and <laughs> That pins. bowling ball about to fall on Marvin's head, head damn near. Pins. It's great. Oh, okay. But Marvin do got a big ass head, so he might be here. okay. Oh, last one there is a rotten egg. Oh, no, 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 I'm going down there. Oh, no fair. I got to roll my ball. I'm going to make it to the Uber first. I'm going to get a rotten egg. Ow, 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 <laughs> I know ow, it. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, Marvin. Oh, shit, 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 watch out. How did I predict this, God? How did I predict this? <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, I just had a high moment, y'all. Make sure this isn't a flashback. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> How did I predict this? Guys. 
Oh my god! Yeah. Squish yeah. his head like a Merlin. Yeah, I am definitely <laughs> like a watermelon. I can't even get my words out because of the flashback I had, y'all. I'm scared. Oh man, I am ready to die. Yes, I am. Oh, hey, what's your name? I'm Brooklyn. Why should be the stripper? Gray. She break what her neck off the strip po oh, stripper pole and shit. For something to kill me. Oh my god, are you depressed? <laughs> no, I'm in a pretty good mood. I just know I'm gonna die soon. Oh, is it like cancer? No, no, it's gonna be a freak accident. <gasps> are you a psychic? <laughs> well, maybe. I did have a vision earlier that helped me avoid a plane crash. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hey, can I give you money to do stuff to me? Sure, but I have to tell you, I have HIV. Oh, there it is. That's how it's gonna <laughs> get me. I'm looking death in the face. Yep, I can't cheat death twice. You know what? I don't even think I want to. This is how I die. Hey, no touching the lettuce. Oh, no, I paid. Oh, oh, no. oh shit. What? No, not like this. Oh, come on. No, it was supposed to be hot. I was supposed to die in the titties. It's not fair. Curse you, cruel death. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. To, to have to have fantasies of wanting to wanting to be taken out by the titties versus getting shot. I, I mean, that's just like from the highest of the high to the lowest of the lowest. Okay, so I feel Brooklyn guy right there. <laughs> and also, he's crazy as hell for even for even being able to think like that in his last moments. Like I would be. I feel like in somebody's last moments, you would be flashing back about everything. Like possible that you can but you never know though that's the that's the scary thing about it man final destination banger i remember this from my childhood i actually was scared of these movies as a kid but they were they were they were good movies they just was over the top of course but let me know how you guys feel about final destination and i'm assuming this is only a part one for sml they might do a part two this might be another series i want you guys thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and before i get up out of here gaming channel link will be in the description down below if you guys would like to follow i will greatly appreciate the support and that does it for this one i will see you guys in the next one baby we are out peace